going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this smoky-ish cat eye liner. I have no idea what the heck I'm calling this video, but this look is super easy to achieve. It's very feminine. It's very youthful. I absolutely love this look. I wore it multiple times when I was out in LA and I had so many requests to do a makeup tutorial on this look while I was on Snapchat. And even when I was in public, I couldn't believe how many people were complimenting my eye makeup because I'm like, what? It's so easy. I feel like when I wear like the most banging smoky eye, no one says anything. And like, it took me 45 minutes to get my liner even and no one says anything. And then when I do a look like this that's so easy to achieve, that's when everybody stops me and is like, I love your makeup. Oh my gosh, who did your makeup? And I'm like, what? <laughs> this isn't fair. But I get it because everyone loves like a nice, easy, fresh daytime look. So this is very useful, very easy to achieve, very feminine. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. You ever have one of those days or one of those weeks, if you know what I mean, where your brain just will not turn on and cooperate? Yeah. I'm having one of those days today. Thought I would just give you a warning and a heads up. So first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes. And the way I personally prime my eyes is I use my concealer, which is the Urban Decay Weightless Naked Concealer. And then I just blend it out with either my finger, my brush, or a beauty blender. And then once I have that a really thin layer, I wanna make sure it's not too thick, a thin layer of that, I will just set it with some translucent powder. I use the RCMA, or you can use like a banana powder, anything that's light and neutral, and you wanna set it with powder because then your eyeshadows will go on so seamlessly and be so easy to blend. So the first shadow I'm gonna pick up is Makeup Geek Tiki Hut. Eee, I love this color so much, and it's so funny because when Makeup Geek was posting their new shades, I had so many people tagging me like, Jacqueline, this color is for you, and I just, I love that you guys know that I'm obsessed with like these baby puke colors so much. So I'm using a Sigma E40, and as you can see, I'm just putting it in the outer corner of my crease and only on the lower lid. Then I'm gonna pick up Anastasia Burnt Orange, and even though it's called Burnt Orange, it really isn't a orange just so you guys know it really looks exactly how it looks on camera it's a really beautiful neutral and with the same brush I'm just going to kind of lightly blend that up towards the brow and kind of sweeping it all over the lid but I want the lid to be really neutral and light as you can see so I'm going to pick up any black shadow it doesn't matter I am using the Kat Von D um, shade and light eye palette just because that's what I have but any black shadow will do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up an itty bitty little brush and this is the M559 by Morphe honestly an angle brush would work even better but this is just what I had sitting there so I use this and I'm just going to create a liner only on the outer half of my eye and then I'm going to take any makeup remover this is the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover because it's one of my favorites I put a few drips of it in the cap. I take an angle brush. This is an Anastasia brow brush, technically. I get that wet with the remover, and then I just go right along and create a nice cut cat eye. It's a great trick if you're sloppy with your eyeliner and you get it all over the place. I'm telling you, this trick with the brush will help you clean up any mistakes and make your wing sharp enough to cut everybody that comes into contact with you because that's just gold, let's get real. I'm just gonna continue to blend that liner out and make it as smoky as you desire. I didn't want it to be crazy smoky, I wanted to keep it kind of daytime appropriate, so I kind of smoked it out, rubbed it all over the place, and then went back and blackened it up a little bit. So we're gonna do the exact same step on this eye as well. Start on the lashes and go up towards the tail of the brow. It works every time, just corner the lashes and aim towards the tail of your brow, up towards your temple area, make a straight line, and then just go over it running back and forth to make it nice and blended because we don't want this line to be harsh. This time around, I'm going to grab my pencil brush and just blend, blend, blend all over the place. As you can see, I'm being sloppy because mama don't give a fuck if you know what I mean. I'm gonna blacken it up a little bit more and then I will make sure that it's nice and sharp with the makeup remover. If you don't want it to be really sharp, then don't use the makeup remover trick, but I'm telling you, this makeup remover com trick comes in handy when it comes to those wings. I can't do a wing without using this trick. I learned it by a pro artist when I was working at MAC several years ago and I have used it ever since. Anytime my wing liner is giving me a hard time, I just grab that makeup remover and that brush and I'm telling you, it comes out perfect every time. So now I'm going to coat my lashes with mascara, and today it's really important to give them a really nice coat and make them look as beautiful as possible because we're not just going to put on regular lashes. We're only going to pop on half lashes. So I am using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. It is one of my favorites, and then I'm going to be using Kim Lashes by Flutter. As you can see, they are half. They're tapered. They're thinner in the middle. They get thicker and more flared out on the end. 
and I'm going to pop these right on. And as you see, it's really going to complement that half liner and it's going to give us a very intense almond eye effect, which I think is so beautiful. Whenever I wear a look like this, John says that my eyes look like I'm a tiger. And I'm like, that's kind of weird to hear. But he's like, it's your tiger eyes that I love so much. And I think it's because of the fact that I have that half wing and the half lash is kind of flipping upward and it really makes the eyes look kind of cat-like and almond shaped, which I just absolutely love. So making sure that those lashes are nice and tight on the lash line. And as you can see, the inner corner of the eye is still totally blank, which is going to help just to open them up and keep them really wide and bright and just very cat-like. So I'm going to prime my skin using the Becca Luminous Primer, and then I'm going to go in with the Josie Maram Vibrancy Liquid Foundation. Oh my gosh! This foundation is everything, and I mean everything. I was having a good skin day this day. I just, I just got to say it because my skin has been really giving me some trouble and I've been really focusing hard on my skin. I've been using that Clarisonic. Mama has been on her skincare game and my skin is finally starting to clear up. So thank you. Thank you, Lord, for Clarisonic and good skincare. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm going to blend out the Josie Marin foundation with the Morphe foundation, foundation brush. Excuse me. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the Morphe M439, one of my favorite foundation brushes of all time. I am so in love with this foundation, you guys. It is so beautiful. I'm sure I'll talk more about it in my next favorites video. Actually, I know for sure I will because it is one of my absolute favorites right now. It's just so dewy and luminous and hydrating, but it's not settling in any of my little like smile lines and any of my little creases that I have. I love it. I just think it makes my skin look so hydrated and healthy. So many of my friends have been loving it recently. It's just a beautiful foundation. So you know the drill. After foundation, I'm going to go ahead and do some concealer. I'm not going to do a lot today though. This might come as a surprise, but I'm literally just going to do one stripe because I want to keep this very light and fresh and daytime appropriate. And I'm going to be honest, recently I've been using a little less face makeup because I'm just feeling like I'm actually starting to notice a little bit of aging in my skin, which makes me really sad. I don't want to admit it, but it happens. And I'm turning 26. I didn't think I was going to see aging until later in life, but it is happening. And I want to use a little bit less product than normal because I don't want to make my skin look worse. I'm going to set it with the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder on that exact same brush. This brush, by the way, is an E8 by Morphe. It's what I use for priming my eyes and my under eye concealer today. I did not use the Beauty Blender just because I have been liking this brush a lot for concealer recently, especially when I'm using a small amount. I really like this brush to blend everything out with. And now I'm going to fill in my brows. I actually shaved off the corner of my brow. I don't really want to talk about it, but this is why you don't try to shave your face after you've had two glasses of wine. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Okay, we'll just move on from that story right now. Thank you very much. Lately, I have only been filling in the tail of my brow. Well, now I have to because I shaved it off, but I've been filling in only the tail and then blending it forward to make it a little bit more feminine on my face and not as harsh. Just a little bit more of a natural brow. I'm going to highlight my brow bone just a pinch, and then I'm going to also dab MAC Nylon. You already know the drill. MAC Nylon is life on the inner corner of my eye. This is going to help just to brighten and widen them even more. If you have far set eyes, you might want to stay away from highlighting the inner corner of your eyes for this look in particular. Then taking a little bit of black shadow only on the very outer edge of the lower lash line, I'm going to just blend that out just to, again, give us that really pretty doe-eyed, wide-eyed, angled-eyed, how many more um, tiger-eyed effect. There we go. I'm going to give my lower lashes a coat of mascara. This is the Kevin Aquan mascara I have been loving. My mom is the one that got me onto this. And I will link it down below because I know last time a lot of people were saying that they couldn't find it, so I will link it for you. I'm just going to touch up my lashes and go over them with a little bit of black just so they look as natural as possible because I never want to see the lash band. When you look down, it kind of gives away all your dirty secrets. Even though people know they're fake, come on, we got to make them look as real as possible. Then I'm going to bronze my skin. I'm going to be using MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer in this gigantic Tom Ford bronzer brush. And today I'm not going to be contouring or sculpting at all. I'm literally going to bronze. So as you see, I'm going to start on the outer half of the face on the cheekbone. I'm going to be blending backward. I'm going to be in circular motions down by my chin, down on my lower jaw, all around my forehead. I'm just going to make sure I avoid the center of my face. I never, ever, ever bronze the center of my face. Otherwise, I can look very muddy very quickly. I can look dirty like I've been playing out in the sandbox. It's not a good look. But like this, it kind of looks more like you've been baking in like the desert 
ah, uh, yes, I love it. Just give me a nice bronze golden face. That's all I ask for in life. So I'm just going to make sure I pack on that bronzer. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of my MAC Pro Emphasize on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to put a little bit of it in the center of my forehead. This is just a highlighting powder that is not shimmery. It's more of a satin, so it's not going to be frosty. But it's just going to bring some light to the face because I kind of felt like some of that bronzer got thrown into the center of my face. And I wanted to clean it up just a pinch. And now I'm going to be going in with a highlight that I'm not going to talk about just quite yet. You can follow me on Snapchat if you want because I will be talking about it much more very soon. I'm going to highlight my cheeks using the Morphe M500 brush. I have been loving this brush recently for highlight just because it's so different and big and fat and I feel like it puts the highlight everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. And then I'm going to do my blush and I am using Becca Wild Honey, an oldie but a goodie. You know how I feel about Wild Honey. And I am using the Morphe E4 blush brush. I think that this is my number one blush brush of all time. I've used it for probably a year now and I'm still not sick of it. I just love it so much. It is like the perfect, perfect brush for blush. Now for my lips, I'm just going to do a gloss. And this is NARS Chelsea Girls, one of my favorite glosses. It's so pretty. I love the consistency. It's a beautiful formula. It's my everyday go-to gloss along with a few others, but it's one of them. Now, last but not least, I need to just set my brows because my brows will take flight if I do not lock and load those bitches with some super glue, aka Anastasia Clear Brow Gel is the most amazing brow gel in the world. And then once we have done that, I'm just going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus all over my face. Just a quick little shower, not a long one, just a, just a quick one. And we will be glowing and good to go, looking fresh for days. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> the look when I was on it hold on <laughs> because I feel like when I I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now I am done yeah I feel like I should talk in a British accent today even though it's so awful that I'm probably going to offend many many people watching this hey 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 so for today's makeup tutorial <laughs> Everybody, for today's makeup. <coughs> no. 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 Going crazy. I need to get this together. Like right now. I need to go home and take a shower because it's not. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh, man. Hey, guys. I love you. I honestly love you.